Beach, a robber slipping on a Halloween mask before wreaking havoc inside a convenience store. And we're now learning that man was a well-known customer. Local 10's Todd Tongan is live with more on what happened when that suspect faced a judge today. Todd. Really pretty eerie when you think about it. The, this man had a uh, very scary Halloween costume on. He storms into this convenience store here in Deerfield Beach and then robs the place with a hammer. It's a scene straight out of a horror film. A masked man wielding a hammer enters this convenience store and then heads to an arcade game. The chilling crime happening Monday night at the US-1 discount beverage in Deerfield Beach. The clerk on duty at the time told police he feared for his life. With the hammer he banned the machine glass and he take a few hundred dollar bill was hanging in there. The arcade vendor says he actually stole $800 and he might have gotten away with the costumed caper if it weren't for surveillance cameras. That's right, the man is seen putting the mask on outside the store and it turns out he's a longtime customer. Good morning, sir. You have robbery with a weapon. You need to talk about bond. Count two is wear a mask while committing a second degree felony. Today, 59-year-old Stephen Canestraro went before a judge. Here's my main concern with Menace, Mr. Canestraro, Judge. He's got stage four cancer. He's very sick. The judge had sympathy for Canestraro and ordered a health screening, but she also was skeptical about his actions. Well, here's the thing. He put on a Halloween mask over his face. He returned to the business and attempted to purchase a Budweiser beer. I mean, yeah, I know. It I'm not really saying make... he's lying about being sick, but... The Broward Sheriff's Office says Canestraro confessed to the crime, stating the offender advised he'd been a longtime customer at the business for over 20 years and he was upset he had spent a lot of money on the listed arcade machine. In the end, the judge gave Canestraro a $20,000 bond on the two charges. Now, once that health screening comes back, depending on what it says, the judge could possibly lower his bond. For now, we're live in Deerfield Beach, Todd Tonkin, Local 10 News.